Hi, this is Gail. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted just to come on for a real quick video to show you some results that I got of some embossed paper and tea dyeing. So my question was, if I took something and embossed it and then tea dyed it, would those raised sections of the paper be darker or lighter when it dried? Would you be able to see the impressions better with the tea dyeing? And what would the results look like? Or would the paper flatten out and the embossing would be gone? So here's what I did. I took my embossing folder. I just got this because I um, have had a Gemini uh, die cutting hand embossing machine and getting the big sized pages you can see this is like eight and a half by 11 size embossing folder i had nothing this big and i wanted to try it so i got this and i started out embossing papers and i know i can emboss tea dyed papers which i did but i thought hmm might be kind of cool to see what the raised portions look like if you tea dye it after so this is the uh, embossing folder I got, and just in case anyone is interested, it's the Botanical Squirrel 660579. Did I, did I say squirrels or swirls? Anyhow, Botanical Swirls, and it's by it's Sizzix and Ellison. So there's that info. So I want to show you, first of all, what the paper looks like non-tea dyed and then afterwards. Okay, so let's do that first. So, um, where is it? Okie dokie. Oh, here it is. So, and then I'll compare them. Okay, so I took some tracing paper and uh, emboss that first and I'll bring it up and hopefully you can see you know what the impression is okay and then here's just a plain piece of white copy paper oops there we go so you get the idea you know now I'll show you the tea that I use to tea. Oh, and also, I am in love with this parchment paper. This whole big pack I got off of Amazon. Did not realize uh, that you could get it so that it already looks aged. But just so you get a spin through of the lusciousness in this pack. It's grungier and grungier, but is that not cool? I love it. Why go to all the effort with parchment paper when you can get it done that way? Now, let me show you in case you're interested. Oh, i got kind of a glare here. Let's see. Is that any better? It doesn't want to focus very well on it. Okay. Let's see. Just can't get it in there any better than that. All right. Yeah, not going to cooperate today. Anyhow, so there's that. That's some of the paper that I used as well. Now, the type of tea that I like to use is called, I'm probably mispronouncing it, Ruibos Herbal Tea. I wish I could give credit to whoever first used this tea and showed it on YouTube, but I do not remember at this point. I get mine from a store called Meyer, which we have here in Michigan. Do not know if they're all throughout the United States or not. Anyhow, very reasonably priced. Here's what the little packets look like. And let me see here. I'm going to move this light there. Let's see if that helps. Nope, didn't help it, did it? Let's see. There. Maybe that's better. 
sorry if I'm making you seasick. Anyhow, so that's what the little packets look like. Show you what the tea bag looks like. Nothing unusual, you know. Um, I save my tea bags and tea bags and use them in my artwork and such. So anyhow, little tea bag. Alrighty. So perhaps you're interested in seeing what paper looks like tea dyed, first of all, with this tea. Now, these are the different colors. I like this. It has, notice, a yellow tone, and you can see, I like this paper as an example to show you because you can see if it's really dark versus as it fades out some. And of course, this was using one of my plastic placemats. But again, you kind of can see the color. And then this is just a plain piece of paper that just plain tea dyed, not real dark. But I really thought this coloration would be great uh, for like a bee journal. It just reminds me of, of bee honey, just beautiful. Now, if you want to see that side-by-side -side coffee, you can notice the difference, the coffee being browner and this being yellower, which I like both of them, but I feel like the coffee makes it look grungier. Anyhow, so you can see there's a comparison. All right, so now let's get on to what happened with the embossing, okay? Show you a few more papers that I embossed. Um, this is some of that children's um, art paper that Crafty Cat kind of turned all of us on to using in our journals. And um, hopefully you can see, there you go. You can see how well that embosses. This is without the tea, of course. And this is that luscious parchment paper. This is so yummy. I love it. Just turned out stunning. And then even here's the back. Uh, either way, it just, it's beautiful. I love the texture. This is sort of a, this is just a cardstock that I shot through the machine. It sort of reminds me of rose gold cover, color. So yeah, so there's that. And then this is a different embossing folder that I have that has um, flowers on it. And I don't know how well you can see. It's a floral scene. And that was sort of a, a peachy colored paper. Okay, so enough of that show and tell. Now let's compare the papers after tea dyeing. Okay, first the tracing paper. Okay, you can see the embossing on the tracing paper. And after, here we have it. Kind of hard to see. Let's see if I put it down here. Really can't see. Uh, suffice it to say, it really smoothed out the embossing quite a bit. It's still there, but very, very weak. Very, very weak. And here's a second paper. Okay. This seemed to pick up the tea color a little bit more, although I'm not sure that's you're being able to see that much on the camera. So it obviously, with the thinner paper, took that pretty embossing right out. Okay, now with just copy paper, let me show you. Okay, now here's the co copy paper. And now it has, <laughs> the pan I put it on had these little error, big arrows in the bottom, and so now that's picked up. Okay. This held better than the tracing paper, for sure. It took the color, but it didn't do what I thought it might do. Now, down here, 
you can kind of see. I thought that it would really make the embossing more pronounced. And at least what I did here, it did not do so. Okay, and here's another sheet. Again, down here, you can kind of see. It's still in here, mind you. It's just less pronounced to be embossing. So, but it didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Thought it was going to make that embossing really stand out more. Now, of course, this is a light colored tea on here. So maybe that's part of it. Now, this is cardstock, just a plain white cardstock. And that held the embossing much better. show you both sides and over here it was sort of starting to do what i thought it might actually do which is make the embossing more pronounced so now this was just a piece of stationery which is a bit just a little bit heavier than the card than the uh copy paper and this held the embossing pretty well so obviously it's a better type or better quality paper than just plain copy paper so you can see it held it a little bit better then let me see what else I have over here this is that paper that's the art paper that crafty cat shared with us it's already got a yellowish tint to it so in terms of the tea dyeing it really doesn't show up very well and in terms of the embossing it didn't hold up real well either it sort of uh, made it a little bit flatter flattened it out a little bit but again this is kind of not real thick paper either Oh, okay, this is a yet another piece of copy paper. Just kind of to give you some ideas. And then more copy paper here. So, anyhow. So, what do I take away from all of this? Now, this one looks pretty cool. And you can see now it is making it more pronounced in here. So I'm thinking I'd like to try it next time with some coffee and with some other different papers. So what I'm taking away from it is that it works best on heavier paper. So paper like the tracing paper doesn't hold it very well. I mean, you can really see the difference how this is just a regular piece and then that's the tea stain so really flattens it out but um, it really is quite beautiful and uh, can work the heavier the paper is that you use so think about using your embossing folders and tea dyeing and see what's what results you get now again this wasn't a Lipton's tea which I doesn't have as yellow a tint to it so if you change from the ruibos to a different color tea will that make much of a difference in terms of how pronounced um, the embossing will be and with coffee will it be any different as well but keep in mind you want to probably try to use heavier paper for the best result all right well thanks for stopping by just hope this helps you out a little bit have a great day and Happy crafting. Don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Speaking of which, over the weekend, I had some great things happen with my YouTube channel. Probably three or four days ago, I was at like 358 subbies. And the last time I checked, I was at like 528 so woo hoo and i owe that to several factors that came into play i think i uh it helped i did a design team project for caroline's craft tree thank you caroline 
and um, I'm getting some more viewers through doing that and it's a lot of fun and some beautiful digis to boot and I had also done a friendship page for Susanna of uh, Vintage Blend Studio and Susanna finally received my friendship page yeah let's say that was two full months uh, and it traveling from here to her in Australia and she made a video of it so I think that brought people over to my channel and lastly another big big push for me was that Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah took a comment that I had made to her about printing on these kind of napkins that you get from McDonald's or Burger King or whatever you know the sort of brown craft color napkins and she ended up doing a video and giving me a shout out so woohoo and by the way I am going to do a quick video because I've had a request on printing on these and showing you the results so that will be upcoming as well and also look forward to my continuation of the tutorial on the hummingbird journal so thanks for stopping by stay safe stay healthy and be creative bye bye